、えー、皆様お待たせいたしました、えー、本日のプレスブリーフィングを開始いたします Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for waiting. We will now like to begin today's press briefing. Excuse me, is the mic on? 来年4月30日に行われます天皇陛下の退位、そして5月1日の皇太子殿下の即位に伴う儀式等について、政府は今年4月に基本方針を閣議決定し、秋以降に詳細を決定する見通しです。I think you're、um, all aware of this, but in regard to the abdication of the current emperor and the succession of the new emperor,、uh, the、uh, dates have been set for various ceremonies.、Uh, the abdication、uh, ceremony will occur on April 30th of next year, 2019, and、uh, the Crown Prince's accession to the post of emperor will、uh, occur the following day on May 1. And the government, as of April of this year, has set out some policies in regard to the ceremonies, and they have decided that、uh, more details will be discussed and announced、uh, beginning in the fall. So, the Hong Kong is a very good thing. 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 So, we're very fortunate to have with us today a speaker,、uh, Mr. Eiji, Eiji、uh, Miyashiro. He is a senior staff writer for the Asahi newspaper, and he is a specialist in history. He writes many, many different articles about history, about cultural assets, and also about archaeology.、Uh, he's going to speak to us today about these、um, abdication and succession ceremonies. He's going to talk about the general flow of the ceremonies and also their significance. So, today you have a freelance interpreter, Tamako Takamatsu. And we would like to ask that、uh, if you have cell phones, that you put them on manner mode. So, there, Miyashiro san, you are going to ask that if you have cell phones, that you put them on manner mode. Hello, I've just been introduced. My name is、uh, Miyashiro, and I work for the Asahi newspaper. えー、と本日はこのような機会をお与えいただきましたことを感謝いたします。私はえと大学でえ歴史と考古学でが PhD を取りまして、朝日新聞社では主にえ文化財、歴史、考古学、あるいは皇室のえと歴史などに関する記事を書いています。Um, as was mentioned, I am a specialist in history. I majored in university in history and archaeology. I received my PhD.、Uh, at the SIU newspaper, I've been writing articles about, as was mentioned, cultural assets, about history, archaeology, and also I've been writing about the history of the imperial family. I belong to the press club that is affiliated with the imperial household agency, and I've written many, many articles about this imperial family. であのまあ他にもうちは、えー、宮内庁詰めの記者何人もいるので適任者がいると思うんですが今日は歴史という観点なので私がお話しさせていただくことになったと思っています。Of course we have、um, several other reporters who belong to this、uh, Imperial Household Agency Press Club. However since the topic today is history,、um, I was asked to come and speak before you today. ではあの時間もありませんので本題に入りたいと思います。So as we are pressed for time, I'd like to move into my presentation、um, immediately. はいえー、と今日のお話というのはです、ね、大体、えー、6つのパートからなっています。So today, um, as you can see、uh, from this、uh, list, I'm going to be talking about six different、um, topics. えっ、ー、と、えー、レジュメを見ていただくと分かるんですけれども、えー、流れとしては、まず、皇位継承儀式とは何かということと、その儀式の流れ、さらにはその内容、そして、えー、と何が問題なのかということと、えー、私たちメディアの人間ですので、何をどういうポイントで報じたらいいのかという6点にわたってお話をさせていただきたいと思います。So as you can see by this outline or the、uh, table of contents, I'm going to be talking about、uh, what exactly the imperial succession ceremonies are,、uh, the flow of the ceremonies, the process of the ceremonies,、uh, what kinds of ceremonies there are, and uh, what uh, issues there are in regard to these, policy,、uh, to these ceremonies. And also because we are, after all, journalists,、uh, or many of us are journalists,、um, I'd like to talk about some of the things that we would like to perhaps focus on during the ceremonies. Thank you. 
が、えー、っと就任する一連の儀式のことを言います。So, to give a、um, dictionary definition of、uh, the imperial succession ceremonies,、uh, it basically refers to a set of ceremonies in which the crown prince or the imperial heir、uh, ascends to the throne. えーとですね、これ、ただし、この儀式の内容については、日本の法律ではまだ、えー、現在、全く規定がありません。Having said this, however, if you look at my second bullet point, you can see that、uh, in regard to these ceremonies, there are no specific details that are specified by law.、ねねえーねえーね、ここ So, for many, many years,、uh, many centuries, uh, the uh, succession ceremonies were basically based on customs. In other words, what had happened in the past,、uh, there were no statues、uh, that governed them. This changed, however, in 1909, as you can see by my third bullet point.、Uh, there were some regulations that were issued by the government called Tokyoku、uh, Rei. And Tokyoku is another word for Sokui, which is a Japanese word for、um, accession.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and this was during the Meiji period, and these were、uh, the first set of laws that were actually put into, on paper. はいでえー、とこの当局令がです、ねえー、1945年の敗戦と同時にです、ね、新憲法が、えー、と施行されて廃止になりましたので、えー、と今の新しい皇室転判というです、ね、皇室の在り方を定めた法律にはその催促がありませんなので細かい内容については何も決まっていないということになります。However,、uh, with the、uh, end of World War II and Japan's defeat、um, at that time, a new constitution was brought into Japan, and uh, the uh, Tokyo Kure, as a part of the old co-、uh, constitution and regulations and laws,、uh, were abolished. So,、um, in regard to the new law that governs the imperial household, which is the imperial household law, there are no specific、uh, rules that are set out for the succession ceremonies.、えー、ただしですね、あのまあ、何も決まってないというわけにもい,かいきませんので。今の天皇陛下、これはあの来年になると、退位されると、平成天皇という名前が送られることになると思うんですが、えー、彼の即位の時にはですね、この旧当局令に基づいて、えー、とこの、えー、即位の儀式というのが制定されて行われました。今回もそれに基づいて行われることになります。Having said this, however,、uh, when you do have、uh, a new、uh, emperor, you cannot、uh, simply create、uh, succession rules from scratch. And、uh, therefore, when the current emperor, who is probably next year, will be referred to as the Heisei Emperor,、uh, when he、uh, ascended to the throne,、uh, his、uh, succession ceremonies are basically based on these old Tokyoku Rei,、uh, the old regulations governing the accession to the throne, which were abolished, but they had been done once, and so done several times, and therefore were considered customs. Probably these old Tokyo Kure regulations will be used again for next year's ceremonies. ただし、あのまあ、私は、まあ、自分は歴史の研究者でありますので、その観点から言うと、この天皇の皇位継承儀式というのは、時代によって大きく変わってきてました。えー、古代には、えーっとですね、中国から取り入れた唐という、要するに中国風の儀礼が長く行われてきており、ある時期からそれは主に近代になってから。今の東京の形になりましたなので今行われている皇位継承儀礼というのは近代になって和風日本風の形ということで新しく起こったものというふうに考えていただければと思います。Having said this, however,、um, I do have, as I mentioned earlier, a background in history. And、um, I know that、um, over the centuries, the succession ceremonies have undergone great change、uh, in Japanese history.、Uh, in ancient times,、uh, different customs,、uh, including uh, ceremonial um, functions and customs, were brought from China、uh, during the Tang period.、Uh, and for a long time, they,、uh, they were adhered to.、Uh, however, as I mentioned earlier, during modern times,、uh, things were changed. And the,、uh, in more recent times, The Tokyo Kure、uh, were established, which is basically much more、uh, Japanese in style than the previous ceremonies. えー、とあのサードセンチュリーぐらいだというふうに考えられて、千数百年の歴史があるんですけれども、この皇位継承儀式というのは、時代によって大きく変わってきたということが言えると思います。So, um, among um, academics who specialize in Japanese history, it is、uh, fundamentally understood that the current imperial、uh, line began sometime during the third century,、uh, and it has continued there for,、uh, for over a thousand years. But during these many centuries, the succession ceremonies have undergone tremendous change. はい、では次まいります
、えー、と具体的なセレモニーのプロセスについて、えー、お,お話ししたいと思います。So like、There, um, えっと覚えておいていただきたいのは、mm-hmm. この、えー、と即位のセレモニーっていうのは3つのステージがあるということです。行われるシーズンも、えー、と3段階に3つの時期に分かれます。えー、まず第一はですね、戦争式といいます。戦争というのはやっぱ即位と同じ意味なんですけども、戦争式ですね。これはですね、皇位の証、要するにあの、えー、天皇の証である三種の神器。というですねこのレガシーを受け継ぐための儀式です。で、えっと、これはですね、えっと、来年のです、ね、5月1日に行われます。はい、次はですね、即位式と言います。これはですね、えー、と文字通り即位なんですけども、えー、天皇がですね、私は即位しましたよということをですね、えー、内外に、えー、と布告する、示すという式です。その土地の初めての収穫した穀物を神に捧げてそれを食べてですねその五穀豊穣を神に感謝するという初めてのお祭りがありますこれを大上祭というふうに言いますこれは来年のですね11月の14日と15日に行われることがもう決まっています。そして最後にですね、えっと、月1日から11月14日、15日まで。3つの段階に分かれて天皇の即位に関するイベントが行われることになりまして私たちもそれを報道しなくちゃならないということになります。So again, to summarize,、um, next year will be very busy,、um, starting on May 1 and lasting until November 14th and 15th. You will have three periods、uh, when there, there will be various ceremonies or events that will occur and as members of the press,、uh, we will be very, very busy having to、uh, cover all of them. ただしですね、えー、と今日のテーマというのは、ミーニング・オブ・インテリ,ンペリアル・サクセッション・セモニーということで、皇位継承儀式ということになっています。で、今申し上げた皇位継承儀式とは、広い意味での皇位継承儀式で、狭い定義で言うと、皇位継承儀式というのは、このうちの3つ、3ステージのうちの戦争式を指すことが多いです。So,、um, today, my, the topic of my、uh, talk is about、uh, this imperial succession ceremonies.、Uh, imperial succession ceremonies、um, is a, can be、um, defined in a broad way and in a very narrow way. And in a broad way, I've been discussing all of the different ceremonies、uh, that are going to be held. When we talk about、uh, the imperial succession ceremonies in a very, very narrow, with a very, very narrow definition, this basically refers only to that first one, the senso shiki. はいえー、ちょっとややこしくて申し訳ないんですけどもなぜなら第二ステージの即位式というセレモニーはですね天皇が即位したということを、えー、と内外に知らしめるインフォームする儀式であって実際には、えー、と行為につくための儀式ではないもう戦争の段階で行為についてしまっているので、えーえー、継承の儀式ではないということが言えるからです。
I apologize that it's so complicated, uh, but again, uh, to sort of just uh, sort things out again, the Sensoshiki uh, is the actual official ceremony where uh, the uh, new emperor ascends to the throne. And the next one, the Sokuishiki, um, basically this again uh, is an opportunity for the emperor to announce to the general public, both with domestically and internationally, that he has ascended to the throne. Uh, having said this, because it's basically his letting people know that he is now the new emperor, it's not actually an accession ceremony because the accession ceremony was already done in the first one, the Sokui, the Ismari, the Sensoshiki. Hi, Tadashi, this is to Kotoshi, what is to Ima Moshakitano was a Koi Kesho Gishkin and this Kedomo, a Kotoshi, what is to Kinda Eko Hajimete, a Sonomani, Betsno Shiki, so they were Genzai no ten no heka, a Thai Surutam in the Gishki. Um, these are the kinds of important um, succession ceremonies that will be occurring, uh, and I have explained, and they will basically be um, well covered and, and well, uh, excuse me, um, uh, great attention will be paid to them. Separately from this uh, are some ceremonies uh, that have that have uh, started not in modern times but in ancient times. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to be talking about uh, uh, some ceremonies uh, that will occur that have not occurred uh, in, in recent years, but um, is a, a modern invention because for uh, in the past, quite often, it was that, uh, especially in, in more recent um, history, it has been that only when the previous emperor passed away did you have a new emperor uh, succeed uh, to the throne, ascend to the throne. However, uh, in this case, uh, the current emperor uh, is abdicating. He's stepping down from the throne. So there's going to be some abdication ceremonies as well. And so um, I mentioned before that the accession ceremonies will all begin on May 1, and the abdication ceremonies, therefore, will uh, occur on the previous day, um, April 30th. 4月の30日に前の天皇陛下が退して翌日に新しい皇太子が新しい天皇陛下に即位するというそういう流れになります。So on April 30th, uh, the previous emperor, the current emperor will step down on the next day, uh, the crown prince, uh, current crown prince will ascend to the throne. はい。えっとですね、え、ちょっと待ってくださいね。いっぺん戻りますが。ちょっと待ってください。はい。え、ここから前に進みます。はい。ではですね、どのような儀式あるのかという話をしていきたいと思います。え、はい、どうぞ。so, um, as you can see by this slide, um, these are uh, the four major ceremonies that would be uh, held uh, for the uh, accession ceremonies. And uh, Mr. Miyashiro has read them out. You don't have to memorize them, but just please be aware that there are these four ceremonies. That's the second bullet point. And you can see that um, they all end with the words no gi. Gi actually means ceremony. So no mean is a, is a kind of preposition simply saying ceremony for or ceremony about. はい。で、このうちですね、so um, of these four uh, ceremonies uh, that are on the second bullet point, in the second bullet point, the most important one is the first one. It's the Kenji to Shokei no Gi. 
uh, and it is important because it um, officially um, allows the emperor to begin uh, the process of becoming uh, emperor uh, because he is uh, given or uh, he takes control of or uh, takes responsibility for uh, several of the uh, imperial regalia, which are often referred to as the three sacred treasures and other um, um, objects. Uh, specifically, of the three sacred treasures, uh, he um, is uh, receives the sword, and the name is here. It's a very long name, and also a special jewel, uh, and the name is also here. Hi, eto ni mai moto shimas ke domo. Kore ga Kenji Toshou Kei no gi no tojitsu no fuke ni narimasu. De kono mi ga ga ni utsutte ru shashin ga kore ga eto Ken to ji o so on the right hand side, these are two photographs um, from uh, the previous um, accession or succession ceremonies. And on the right hand side, you can see that two things are being offered uh, to the emperor. One contains, uh, one is a box containing a sword, and the other uh, is a box that contains uh, not the jewel, but uh, the, the privy seal, the official seal. So it's held in the Imperial Palace, and although it is an extremely important ceremony, uh, it looks um, not very Japanese at all. People are dressed in Western clothes. Um, it looks very modern. <laughs> So I'm sure uh, many of you have heard of uh, the three sacred treasures uh, that are uh, given to the uh, uh, new emperor, but I'd like to talk about them in a little bit more detail. この three sacred treasures are made up of a mirror, the round object, and the middle object, which is a jewel, a jade object, and then on the right hand side is a sword. これはですね、日本神話を読んでいただくと分かるんですけども、それぞれ岩国があってですね、天皇家がですね、天に入れた非常に大事な宝物ということになっていて、これは天皇家の力の象徴であるということになっています。so if you read um, Japanese mythology, uh, you will see that uh, they, each of these objects have a history behind them. Uh, they are considered a very uh, important, um, valuable objects for the emperor. They also symbolize the strength of the emperor. ただしですね、これはですね、えっとこのうち本物、本物と言われているものはですね、鏡はですね、伊勢神宮というあのところにあって、え、剣はですね、明日神社というこれ名古屋にあるんですが、愛知県にあるんですが、三重県と愛知県
、えー、と普通なんて言ったらいいかな慣用語っていうかスラングで使うんですね。とても大事な欠かせないものという意味で1950年代には暮らしに欠かせないという意味でテレビジョンと洗濯機と冷蔵庫が日本人の最初の神器というふうに言われてきました。そうですね。ですから、この時代の人々は、まあ、家の中に何かあったら、えー、っと寝てるのを見て、ね、ちょっと待ってくれと。薄いあのカメラと、ね、DVD レコーダーというのが最初の人気と言われました。Right side, uh, that, uh, the, in the Heisei modern era,、uh, these three sacred objects, and this is a very much a slang term that you hear quite often,、uh, are、uh, digital cameras, a very, very thin、uh, television set, and a DVD recorders. <笑>、うん、これは余計な話なんですけども、つまり最初の人気というのは日本人にとっては、あの普段全く見ることはできないんですけども、とても大切なものという意味で、えっ、ー、と、なんてとイメージとしてはとても慣れ親しんだものであるということです。Reason, um, speech, however, I, however, people, そのことは日本人がまあ皇室に対して敬っているという同時,同時に親しみを覚えているということを示唆しているのではないかというふうに私は考えます。To, uh, as, uh, treasures, that, hand, はい、えー、とどんどん進んでいこうと思いますが。はい、えーとですね、最初の、えー、とですね、はい、えー、行為継承後、行為継承に伴って行われる儀式というのは他にいくつかあるという話をしましたけれども、はい、検事当証の、えー、検事等承継の儀以外にですあるのはですね、まずここに書きましたように、えー、まあざっと話しますので覚えていただかなくて結構なんですが、えー、とですね、まず高齢殿神殿に報告の儀というのがあります。はい、そしてこれはですね、はい、えっ、ー、と、ポップな言い方で言うと、天地主義と言っている神々を祀っている神殿で、私は即位しましたよということをですね、彼らに報告する儀式です。So, um, in this first one, the Kore Den, etc.,、uh, the emperor makes、um, two sets of、uh, reports. One is to、uh, the family or the imperial line ancestor、uh, sort of、um, shrine uh, uh, that uh, has their spirits, and he, that he is. はい、他にですね、賢所の儀という、えー、とセレモニーがあります。これはですね、あのえー、賢所というです、ね、場所があるんですけども、これは天皇家の祖先神であるアマテラス大御神という神様がいるんですが、そこに納められたさっきの三種の神器の一つ、さっきあの,の儀式では、えー、とですね、剣事等承継の儀ではですね、剣と魂しか受け継がないんですけれども、ここで鏡を受け継いで、三つのものを天皇が受け継ぐことになります。In the next one,、uh, which、uh, starts with the word Kashiko Dokoro, Kashiko Dokoro is actually the name of a, of a place、uh, in which、uh, the a spirit of、uh, the first、um, ancestor goddess of the imperial line,、uh, whose name here is here, Amaterasu Omikami,、uh, resides. And this is where、uh, the third sacred treasure is.、Uh, はい、えでここまではですね非公開なので見ることはできません。で次ですね、はい
、えー、これはですね即位後朝見の儀と言いますこの儀式はですね新しい天皇が初めてですね首相や代表に対してですね自分の即位したことをまず知らしめるというそういう儀式です。So, these three ceremonies that I've described so far have been very, very interesting. Unfortunately, they are not open to the public. You cannot see them. The fourth ceremony,、uh, as you can see on this slide, is called the Sokui Go Chokenugi. This is where the new emperor、uh, makes a presentation to the public that he has now become the new emperor. まあ、このもう即位後朝見の儀というのはあの漢字に書けばそのままなんですけども天皇が即位して、えー、と初めて、えー、となんとかな進化というか国民に話をする儀式というただそんだけの意味なんです。So, um, the words may be、uh, a bit difficult to understand, but if you saw the Chinese characters, you would understand exactly what it means. It simply literally means the emperor has recently ascended to the throne and he is making this known to the general public. And this is the current temperature participating in this ceremony nine years ago. はい、で、えー、ここまでが、えー、となろう、えー、狭い意味での、えー、と皇位継承儀式、えー、5月1日に行われるものになりますでもうこれ最初の、えー、とレポートの機会になりますんでこれが終わってまだしばらくあとは開くんですけどもじゃあその後どういうふうに展開していくかっていうお話をしようと思います。So, I've been talking in some detail,、uh, but all of these、um, ceremonies that I've described until now are basically the、um, abdication and then the、uh, succession official ceremonies.、Uh, the four ceremonies I just described will all occur on the same day,、uh, May 1.、Um, at this point,、uh, there is going to be a period of time, and then there will be some other ceremonies that will be taking place. Hi. Eh, to this, ne. Hi. では、名前がいっぱい続くので、申し訳ないんですが、覚えなくてもいいので、聞くだけ聞いてください。名前が続くので、申し訳ないんですが、覚えなくてもいいので、聞くだけ聞いてください。えっと、まずですね、期日報告の儀というのがあります。それから、直視発信の儀。えっと、即位へ当日、賢所大前の儀。高齢殿、神殿に報告の儀。それから、即位へ聖殿の儀。祝賀御列の儀。共演の儀、大乗祭、あるいは神武天皇らの参拝という、そういう順番になります。So, I've just read a list of all of the different、um, ceremonies that will occur.、Um, I, the, the one, Daijo Sai, I think, was not li on, listed on this list. This is the,、um, uh, will be explained later. Hi. The, 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 えー、共演の儀というのは、えー、これは基本的にはオープンになりますので取材の機会が多分代表取材になるかと思いますがあると思います。So, in regard to、um, looking at these ceremonies from a press point of view, if you look at the third bullet point, you see three different main ceremonies: the Sokui Rei Seiden no Gi, and then the Shukuga Onnets no Gi, it says parade, and then the Kyoen no Gi, the banquets. These are basically open. And、uh, they will be available、uh, to be covered. However, probably it will not be、um, all the press come, but probably there will be one representative or several representatives、uh, and taking photographs or, or film or whatever and distributing them to the other press. Hi, I'm going to talk about the first thing 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 about the first あの自分が即位したことを内外に示すという一番大きな儀式になります。So in regard to these three ceremonies,、uh, the first one, the Sokui de Seiden no Gi, is probably the one、uh, that is most picturesque or photogenic、uh, because the,、uh, it is a ceremony in which the emperor comes in full ancient Japanese regalia,、uh, dressed in ancient costumes, and he basically、uh, announces to、uh, people both、uh, within and without the country that he has now become the new emperor. はいえー、とその次の祝賀御列の儀というのはこれは要するにパレードのことで、えー、と天皇陛下と皇后陛下が、えー、とオープンカーに乗って、えー、即位後、えー、皇居の周りをパレードするという、えー、と前の時は10万人の警護が出たという、えー、大変大きなイベントになります10万人の,の警官が警護したんですね。
So uh, the second one uh, is the Shukuga Onretsu no Gi. It says parade, and it actually is a parade. It's a procession where the emperor, new emperor and empress will ride in an open car, and basically they will drive around uh, the imperial palace. Uh, the last time uh, this parade was held, there were 100,000 people uh, that were guarding the ceremonies, not the people attending, but the guards. で、続いて共演の儀というこれはパンケットなんですけども、これは各国の、えっとま、国民代表合わせてですね、前回は3500人を6回に分けて晩餐会を行ったという、そういう晩餐会が3日間続きます。今回はこれを短縮しようという話も
we have to uh, look carefully at each of these ceremonies and decide where the budget for these ceremonies will come from. Um, I, the interpreter has been using the word national affairs, which refers to ceremonies that are going to be um, basically paid for by the national government. This comes from the uh, national coffers. On the other hand, uh, there are um, ceremonies uh, that are part of these uh, succession ceremonies, which um, basically are private affairs for the emperor and his household. And these, therefore, are paid for by the imperial household budget. Of course, the imperial household budget originally comes from taxpayers' money and is part of the national budget, but still, there has to be some kind of a separation between the budgets for uh, these ceremonies. で、あの、ま、そういうことがありますので、今回もですね、どの行事をあの、これ国事行為って言うんですけども、国家的行事として位置づける感について随分議論があってですね、結果的にこのイカの9つの行事を国家行事として位置することになりました。so as a result, um, there are many, many different kinds of ceremonies, and uh, there was great debate and discussion as to which of these ceremonies uh, should be considered um, kokuji, uh, basically um, national affairs, in other words, paid for by the national government. And as a result, uh, it was finally decided that there would be nine different ceremonies that would be paid for by uh, the government and considered national affairs. Yes, here I 先ほどから何度も出てきます。大礼聖殿の儀ですね。これは、these are the nine different ceremonies uh, that are going to be cons considered uh, national affairs. And uh, the first one, the bullet point, uh, refers to uh, the ceremony that has to do with the abdication of the current emperor. The second bullet point refers to various uh, ceremonies uh, that I've just gone into some detail before, and which includes also some of the uh, ceremonies that I said would be very picturesque or photogenic. Uh, these also have to do with the succession ceremonies. あの、関するものじゃなくて、今のえっと、えっと、皇太子殿下の弟の秋篠宮殿下が今度ですね、皇室という、なんて言うんですかね、プリンスじゃないんですけども、要するにエンペラーを継ぐものという立場になるんですが
ちゃんとした政治をしていきます。で、ね、日本の平和を祈っていきますっていうですね、そういうですね、えっ、ー、と、なんこれ直後っていうんですけども、お言葉を述べるという、そういう儀式です。この、えっ、ー、と、ドームみたいになってるのは高見倉といってですね、これは普段はですね、京都に置いてあるんですけども、この儀式のために、えー、と東京に運ばれてきます。So, I'm going to be showing you some photographs. The first one is、uh, from Taide Issei、uh, Denogi, and this is basically an opportunity for the emperor to say、uh, he reads from a scroll, he reads from、um, words basically saying、uh, that he has now become the new emperor and he's going to be taking responsibility and he will be praying for the、um, health and、uh, prosperity of the nation. And he is in a, a kind of,、uh, not a building, but a kind of structure, and it's called Takami Kura,、uh, which is sort of like an imperial throne house. And And this is basically a structure that、uh, is always kept in the、uh, Imperial Palace in Kyoto, and it is transported to Tokyo for the services, for the ceremonies. And this is the first time I've seen this. 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 で、これは右側の方は前庭の様子なんですけども、これバンといってですね、旗フラッグなんですが、今こういうあの古式ゆかしい形で。この儀式が行われて、でえっ、ー、とここにあの後ろ姿が映ってますけども、これ女の方なんですが、えー、宮中の女官の衣装で、えー、参列者もこれに従うということになります。So these are、um, some more photographs. One is from the side showing、uh, the ceremony taking place. And you can see from、uh, the、um, backs of the ladies、uh, here that they are、uh, dressed as、uh, ladies of the court、uh, would have dressed in ancient times. And also on the right hand side, you see the different banners、uh, that are streaming、uh, in celebration. で、あと2つ、えー、ご紹介しようと思います。で、あのえー、と左側の方は祝賀音列の儀という。えー、これは要するにパレードですねあの先ほどから申し上げているみたいに、えー、これで、えー、東京都内を、えー、新しい天皇陛下と,、えー、と皇后陛下が、えー、パレードされるというものですで右側の方は共演の儀といってこれはですね、えー、と前回の、えー、天皇陛下が即位される時のこれ5回目の共演の儀になります、えー、<笑>このようにですねあの、まあ、3日間にわたって6回というですね非常にあのえー、と体力的にも大変なこともありまして、次回以降は縮小してはどうかという話が今出ているところです。So,、uh, more photographs.、Um, you can see on the left hand side,、uh, this is the Shukuga o n d e t s u n o g i which basically means a, a procession or parade. The new emperor and empress.、Uh, Are driven around、uh, the Imperial Palace. And then on the right hand side, you see、um, one of the banquets of the Kyo en Nogi. I mentioned earlier that over three days, six different banquets were held. This is the fifth、uh, banquet that was held. And、uh, physically, it's very exhausting for the new emperor and empress. So it's considered that perhaps this will be scaled down this time. はい。で、最後はこれ大丈夫さですね。えー、大丈夫さというのはですね、えー、っと、なんと言ったらいいんでしょうか。あの、えー、っと、これは。まあ、さっきのですね9つの行事の中に入ってなかったことも分かるようにこれ非常にあの日本の神道に関わる儀式なんですえどういう儀式かというとその日その年初めて取れたですねあの要するに五穀要するにあの穀物をですね神様にお供えしてそのお下がりをですね天皇陛下が食べることによって神と力を共有するというそういう意味があります。So, the last uh, photograph uh, shows you the Daijo Sai. I mentioned earlier uh, that uh, this was not included in the list of ceremonies、uh, mentioned earlier. And this is because、um, it is not an official national、um, affair ceremony, but it is one that is、uh, more religious in nature. It comes from the Shinto religion. And basically, it's an ancient ceremony where the emperor uh, takes uh, the first rice、uh, of the harvest and、uh, offers it to the gods. And he also partakes of it,、uh, which is an indication that he is sharing the strength of. Of the gods with himself. これ右側にあるこれ写真古いんですけども昔の絵はがきなんですがこれはですね大乗さんのために作られる大乗宮とか大乗宮っていうんですけども臨時のですねこうシュラインを作るんですあのこのためだけに作って5日間使って壊してしまうというそういうのがあるんですがその中でこの大乗祭というのが行われます。So, on the right hand side,、uh, you see an old、um, a postcard or a photograph, and、uh, this shows a, a structure called the Daijo Q, or can sometimes be translated、uh, called the Daijo Gu. And it's basically a special shrine that is、uh, created for the Daijo Sai ceremony.、Um, it, uh, it only is in place for five days.、Uh, they built it and then they tear it apart. And this、uh, will be built within the grounds of the Imperial Palace this time. 
で左側の写真というのはその神,神様に神仙を供えに行くところのシーンですね夜になるんですがこういうシーンがあります。この儀式が来年の11月の14日から15日にかけて行われて、一円の皇位継承儀式は終わりということになります。では、えっと、最後の方に、まあ、この公益検証儀式をめぐる、まあ、どういう問題があるのかということについて、まあ、今メディアとか日本の国民の中でお話、えっと、議論になっていることについてご紹介したいと思います。なんでこういう話をしているかというと、要するにです、ねあのまあ、新しい時代になってきて、えー、と皇室という姿もです、ね、昔の先制国外君主という形から要するに大きく変わってきているわけです。でその結果ですねさっき当局例が廃止になったって言いましたけれども、すべて前の例を踏襲していくのがふさわしくないのではないかという議論が出てきているからです。Um, times, uh, and, uh, is, uh, uh, be, uh, では。まず、えー、と本当にいくつか挙げてきますけどもまず大臣ですねあの今回近代以降初めてとなる天皇陛下今の天皇陛下の退位の礼セレモニーはですねどうやったらいいのかっていうのがまだ全く決まってません。近代以前の例だったらあるんですけども近代以降の新しい形を模索しているのでまた新しい形をこれから考えなくてはいけないわけです。はい、で2番目にです、ね、ここに書きましたように、天皇陛下の退位と、えー、皇太子殿下の即位の日程をです、ね、どうしたらいいかという問題がありました、結果的に、えー、30日に対して5月1日に即位と決まったんですけれども、同じ日にしたらいいのかどうかという議論がしばらく行われていました。では、uh, はい。えーとですね、あとですね、えー、ともう一つですね、あの次に来ますけども、はいえー、まだいくつかありますが、えーとまあ、即位礼正殿の儀というです、ね、先ほどあの高見倉で天皇陛下がお言葉を賜って、えーと、首相が万歳参照するんですけども、もともとこの儀式はです、ね、天皇に対して進化がことほぐ、お祝いを申し上げるという、そういう儀式なので。
要するにまあ今は国民なんですけどもこの関係性がですね今のような形で要するに昔のままの形を今に引っ張ってきている今の形が正しいのかどうかという議論もあります。And、uh, the other one、uh, that is the main topic of、uh, debate is the,、um, how the Sokui de Seiden no Gi ceremony should be handled. I think you remember you seeing a photograph a little while ago about、uh, the、uh, emperor in、um, older clothes,、uh, basically reading a document. Maybe not in older clothes, I mean, he's reading a document explaining that he is now the new emperor. Uh, however, uh, this. Uh, In the previous succession ceremony,、uh, they followed tradition, and the prime minister and other important people there basically all said banzai, hooray, three times.、Uh, and、uh, this, however,、uh, has the feeling of a monarch being、um, attended to by his retainers. And there is some question as to whether that kind of a scenario or that kind of、um, uh, presentation is appropriate for the modern age. さらにはですね、先ほど何度も申し上げてますけれども、えー、バンケットの共演の儀のです、ね、規模がです、ね、大きすぎるんじゃないかという議論があります。さらには大城祭の話なんですが、まあ、大城祭というのは完全にもう信徒の儀式なので、それにです、ね、あの国の予算が支出されるのは適切なのかというそういう意見もあります。えー、政権ぶりにという観点からですね。はい。で、えー、っと最後にですね、えー、これはまあ新しくなるクラウンプリンスの話なんですけども、初めてですね、皇太子ではない皇子というお立場がですね、今度設けられるので、その位置づけとか、どういう仕事をしていただくのかとか、えー、っと、まあ、秋篠宮がですね、殿下があの講師になってしまわれることで、仕事がまたそっちの方で増えているわけですから、じゃあその残った仕事を誰がやるのかとか、そういう話が今ですね、えー、っと問題になっています。So,、uh, the、uh, other issues、uh, concern、uh, not the emperor so much, but、uh, the uh, new uh, the crown prince or uh, the, uh, his successor, the imperial heir.、Um, For example, what exactly will the positioning of this new imperial heir be? Until now, the crown prince was in Japanese, Kotaishi, and now you have a new title, Koshi,、uh, which is the imperial heir. What exactly is his role going to be? What kind of work and responsibilities will he undertake? And with the crown prince becoming emperor and with the、uh, prince Akishino becoming、uh, the new Koshi, the work、uh, that, Mr. that the prince Akishino had been、um, responsible for in the past, who will take that on now is another question that remains. で最後にまとめに入っていこうと思うんですが、えー、とまず、まあまあ、これはメディアの今日ブレーフィングなので、えー、何をどうやって報じていったらいいのかというポイントについてちょっとお話ししようと思うんですけどもまずですねこの,あの、まあ、後遺継承儀礼というのはですね私たち、まあ、日本のメディアにとっても、えー、何十年に一遍しかないので非常に手探りな状態で報道が行われていることを、えー、お分かりいただきたいと思います。So, I'd like to、um, begin to wrap up uh, my uh, speech. And since you are、um, perhaps mostly members of the media here,、um, I would like to talk to you about what uh, you, uh, giving you perhaps some advice about how you should cover、uh, these ceremonies. And I would like to begin by saying that although we are Japanese and although we are familiar with many of these succession ceremonies, we members of the media only cover these ceremonies maybe once in several decades. So, for us, it is a challenge as well. えー、実際、こういうお話をしていく私自身にしてもですね前の時はですね私、入って1年目でしたのであの全然遠くから見ているだけでこういう皇室のことなどですね取材しようとも思ってませんでしたのでそういう事情があります。Speaking personally,、uh, when the last、uh, succession ceremonies were held,、uh, I had only been in my company one year, and so I was looking at、uh, the ceremonies from a very, very far away point,、uh, long,、uh, from very far away, and、um, I really had no idea about how to cover、uh, these ceremonies. ですので、これから来年に向けてですね、私たちも内部でブリーフィングを行いながらですね、えー、どういう取材体制で行っていくか、どういう紙面、えー、展開をしていくかということを考えていくことになるかと思います。
So uh, over the next year, uh, we are going to be spending many, many um, uh, hours uh, doing internal briefings, uh, trying to discover, trying to decide how we will cover, what we will cover, and how we will present um, what we cover to the uh, media, excuse me, to the public. あの先ほどから何度も申し上げているように非常に儀式の意味が分かり,分かりにくい部分がありますでそれについては、えー、普通の日本の国民は、えー、ほとんどの人が儀式の意味を知りません、えー、ですが新聞でそれをどこまであのご説明していくことメディアがあの要するにまあ必要に応じてということになるので要求されていないものを全部まあ出していくわけにはいかないのでどの程度まで知りたいのかということを踏まえながら、えー、報道していくこと必要があると思います。So,、um, as you can tell by the explanations I've、uh, given,、uh, the ceremonies themselves are very complicated,、um, esoteric, or difficult to understand,、uh, and most Japanese people are not aware of the details of these ceremonies.、Uh, however, as uh, media uh, representatives, we do have a responsibility to、uh, explain some of these ceremonies and their meanings、uh, and the details to the public. How much should we explain? What should we explain?、Um, even though we have not been requested to explain, how much do we think we should present uh, to uh, the public、uh, is a great question for us. であのまあ皇室取材の時に特徴的な出来事ってですね代表取材というのがあります。これはですね私たちも関わってくるんですけども、要するに写真をですねあの一社だけが代表して撮ってあのあの各社に提供するということですね。全員がその場に立ち会うことはできないというそういう制約的な状況もありますので、これについては外国のメディアの方もどうだと思いますけども、えー、ご理解というか、えー、おしご承知を聞いていただきたいと思います。Also,、um, one of the features of、um, covering、uh, the imperial、uh, household、uh, is that there are restrictions about how much the media can actually cover them. Uh, and uh, for many、um, official ceremonies、uh, or events,、uh, it is usually one company, one media company,、uh, that takes photographs of, of different events and different proceedings and then distributes them,、uh, the photographs,、uh, to the other media as well.、Uh, we are restricted by this and we、uh, ask、uh, the cooperation of the、uh, foreign media as well、uh, in taking part of the. In えー、と新しい天皇陛下の即位を、えー、来年に迎えてです、ね、日本国内では天皇陛下というのは、えー、どういう存在であるべきかという議論が起きていますあの、まあ、あの憲法では国民統合の象徴ということになっているんですが具体的にどういう存在で,でいてくれたらいいのかという議論が起きています。So, within Japan,、uh, the、uh, succession, abdication, and succession ceremonies are giving rise to different discussions and debates within Japan.、Uh, what exactly should the、uh, new emperor's role be?、Uh, of course, in the constitution, it is said that he、uh, is the symbol of the unity of the people. But what exactly does that mean? Specifically, what should he be doing、uh, and how should he be regarded in the future? This is something that we're all thinking about. ただ私はまあ歴史学者だから言うのですけども天皇という日本の天皇という存在はですねまあエンペラーという名前こそついてますけども歴史的に見るとですねここに書きましたようにあのなんて言ったらいいのかなあの民の国民の平安と五穀豊穣を祈るというそういうプリーストみたいな役割をずっと果たしてきたんですね大昔には自分自身が政治を取ったこともあったんですけどもそういうなんて言ったら政治とかけ離れた状態切り離れた状態というのは長く続いてきたわけです。However,、uh, I am particularly、um, well versed in、uh, matters of the imperial.、Uh History, imperial household history. And although、uh, his translation, the name Tenno in Japanese,、uh, is translated as emperor,、um, and I've written a little bit about this、um, in my、uh, presentation,、uh, for many, many years, his basic role was not so much a political role,、uh, but rather、uh, that of a priest, basically one who prayed to the gods for the、uh, safety and peace of the nation, and one who prayed for bountiful、uh, harvests.、Um, there, was a, there were times、uh, in Very ancient history where、uh, he、uh, took more of a political role, but for most of the history of the imperial family, the emperor has basically played more of a religious priest like role. で、まあ、あの政治的に切り離れた部分の政治を誰がやっているかといえば、それはあのもし日本のまあ時代劇によく出てくるような将軍であったりとか、彼らが武士が担ってきたわけですね。で、まあ、あのその形が武士が。えー、と明治時代に亡くなって新しい近代の形になって今の天皇制の前の段階の天皇が政治を取る形ができたんですけどもそれがこの前の第二次世界大戦で敗れて今の元の象徴天皇制に戻ったということは言えると思います。So, um, I role of the、uh, emperor over time has been twofold. There have been political、um, 
roles that he has played in the past and also religious roles that he has played in the past. Uh, for many, many hundreds of years, uh, he played uh, basically a symbolic and priestly role and actual power in the nation, I think maybe many of you may already know this, uh, were held by the military class, uh, the top uh, the military class, the warrior class, basically became the bushi or samurai class. And the head of this class was called the shogun. And he basically served as the ruler. Uh, when uh, Japan was opened up to the West and we entered the Meiji era uh, in the late 19th century, uh, it was considered that uh, things should be changed. The warrior class was basically dissolved. And it was considered that, uh, that the uh, emperor should take on the role that he had played in older ancient times. Um, and he therefore played a more active uh, political role. This uh, system, however, um, collapsed with the end of World War II. And since uh, the end of World War II, he has uh, reverted back to the uh, role that he played for many, many years, where he's basically a symbol for Japan. に um, I've been speaking about uh, these succession ceremonies. Um, of course, you can refer to them um, probably as coronation ceremonies, and in many ways they are similar to coronation ceremonies. However, again, taking the uh, rather unique or unusual nature of the emperor's position, basically uh, these succession ceremonies uh, are an opportunity for the new emperor to uh, give prayers to uh, the original ancestral deity, the Amma. Terasu uh, Omikami, and also other gods and deities uh, in the past, and basically begging them uh, or asking them to share in their strength so that he will be able to pray for the uh, health of the Japanese people uh, going forward. So it is that kind of um, series of ceremonies, and so it's very different um, in nature from regular coronation ceremonies. ですが、えっと、今現在の、えっと、天皇家、皇室のですね、価値観とか、えっと、国民の中における立ち位置というのを示す場でもあります。ですので、えっと、ま、儀式の内容をですね、どうするかということも含めて、え、これからさらに1年、え、国民の間で